talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Let's go. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Oh, you got this one, baby. You got this one. all day, all day. With this risk-reward, speed-based, aggressive style, how does Pacquiao okay, okay. manage go. himself against a well-rounded boxer puncher? Well, he just has to remember that he himself has more than just power, more than just speed. He's getting more and more experience all the time, Joe. Sometimes he just has to make sure that he has patience to go along with those other talents. Jermaine Taylor is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Pacquiao's committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Oh, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything, and he finds something coming back at him. Able to counter that attack. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Taylor's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Taylor's left working well that time. Nice strike after catching one by Jermaine Taylor. Letting this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You've got to move your hands. This is yours. You hear me? This is you. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Protecting his head well Keep with his guard. Keep it up. Good counter punch. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Able to get rid of that one. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Gets rid of that effort. Well-targeted counterpunch by Manny Pacquiao. Solid straight right hand. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front of him. And that's the end of round two. Oh, Pacquiao's yo. cut is now going to play a factor in this Keep fight. I mean, you can tell just by looking at it. What does his mental approach need to be so that it doesn't overtake him? This fight. That's a good question. He has to be a pro. He has to be a guy that when the test comes, and this is the test, that he doesn't panic. He doesn't falter. He keeps the same mindset he had before he was cut. Do your job. Come here, use your jab, set up your punches, put punches together. Be defensive when you have to be defensive. Let us, let the corner do the job of closing that cut. You 
UFC. Comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good flush shot by Jermaine Taylor. Throughout Manny Pacquiao's career, we've seen some opponents who have made it very exciting against him, some who have pulled off victories. But in this modern era, nobody's come close. What's the answer against Manny? Oh, don't let Manny be Manny. Don't let him use his speed. Don't stand right in front and let him get out. You know, control range, control those dimensions. He wants to work, step out on him a little bit, step to the side on him a little bit. You know, be the boss in that one. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And we come to the end of the round. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Teddy's got this fight three to zip, that's easy to see. Jermaine Taylor's been the more active guy. If you throw more punches, you're gonna earn the judges' respect. As long as the other guy's not landing the cleanest shots, even though he's not as active, but this is the kind of fight where He's just busier, he's doing more, and that's carrying the rounds. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunch him. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Step back, then the counterpunch by Manny Pacquiao. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. What a right hand from Jermaine Taylor. Quick jabs, those doubled up quick jabs, they can be so effective by Jermaine Taylor. supposed to take anything for granted never assume anything they tell you that in life in the ring you get taught that real fast he got caught by a big shot Manny Pacquiao's all of a sudden finding his stride here in that last round we saw vast improvement he's still down on your scorecard right Teddy yeah I have him down a little bit but he's he's making a comeback here based on what we just saw he's doing what he needs to do you know he's picking up the pace a little bit and he's starting to get into the right range to me before he was too far back now he's taking the steps to put himself in position where he can start doing the things he needs to do to get back in this fight Taylor's opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now, he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Hey, 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 got hey, to him hey, hey. one go time. On now. On, I now. think me... right now it's too early to all of a sudden throw everything out the window. But look for an adjustment if things don't change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again, then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Jermaine Taylor's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch.
gets rid of that body shot. remaining in this round. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. There's that overhand right. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Commits to the straight right. Good doubling up of the jab by Jermaine Taylor. Huge right hand from Jermaine Taylor. Pacquiao's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. See that coming now. Come on. And he engages in the clinch, reaching the halfway point of round number six. The body. Ten seconds of the sixth round. Stop, 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 stop. And round six comes to an end. Pacquiao's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Jermaine Taylor. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And he ties up on the inside. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Able to cover up that gut. Southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Defense! Defense! We need to see some more defense! Man, that's it, baby! Good job! Good job! Woo! 
Oh, that is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like we that, all right? Doing good. Keep it up. Teddy, this is where things can start to change, and I think we've seen it in these past few rounds leading up to this eighth round. Your scorecard now shows a slight margin in his favor. Yeah, he's like that kid in the classroom, you know. All of a sudden, he stands up. He says, hey, gets the teacher's attention, and he says, hey, I want to be heard. Yeah, oh, he's I been heard the Yeah, I want to be counted. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Manny Pacquiao is really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Shot to the head with that right hand. The halfway point of round number eight. job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Manny Pacquiao. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Jermaine Taylor's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Chance with this guy, right? You got to. You have to take a risk. Good job. Good. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested back throughout. Jermaine Taylor lands the uppercut. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Manny Pacquiao. Watch the hook! Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Scoring well with the right. What an ex- Wow! Perfectly executed combination. Jermaine Taylor's down. He's gonna have to beat the count. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. Final round. 
when champions are made. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side and boom! Counter punch. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. Keep it up. Keep it up. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. I like what I see out of Manny Pacquiao right now. This is it right here. This is the way he should be defensively. You see the Pac-Man. He's got that nice, tight defense. He's not letting anybody get inside there. Really frustrating his opponent now. Manny Pacquiao is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Taylor showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And he just holds on there. Well-targeted combination by Jermaine Taylor. Taylor's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. to go in this the final round completely one-sided fight at least that's the way we saw it yeah I mean if you saw it any other way you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight kind of like on a pack of cigarettes you know this could be hazardous to your health I mean these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way here's the